Hi guys, so I have a game for you played by Benny Eisenberg with the white pieces against Grandmaster Gusyanov Gadir from uh, Azerbaijan. Benny Eisenberg is a very young, talented uh, player. He became famous because of this game. Uh, Gusyanov Gadir is one of uh, Azerbaijan's strongest grandmasters and he has a rating above 1000 he he had a rating at one point above uh, 2700 which makes him a super GM so let's see how uh, Eisenberg plays against him so he's st Eisenberg starts with uh, uh, e4 and Lucianov plays e a c5 the Sicilian and uh, we have the uh, we have the dragon variation, the accelerator dragon. So, bishop e3, okay. Just setting up. Usually, you see a much more natural move is probably something like. Oh, yeah, actually, c4, I think, is more natural. Followed by uh, this setup, the moxie bind, which Magnus Carlsen really likes to play. It's a very positional kind of position. Uh, it's a very positional position, and. Uh, White is very solid and it's very difficult for black to get any major attack. Bishop e3, this is hinting more of a uh, Fischer's Tosen kind of position or the English attack would be. Uh, after you bring the knight here, something along these lines. So, knight c3 was played, bishop g7, and bishop c4, the indicating the Fischer's Tosen attack. Um, kingside castling and bishop d3 stepping back and we have d6 and f3 um, this prevents knight g4 and it's, uh, and that's the idea behind that move and now you're just trying to put this this is a very well known position and the fisher susan and now you have bishop, knight takes d4 very natural move and b5 common idea uh, to have a queenside expansion and to attack this bishop and to bring the rook to c8 uh, white uh, black has a lot of counterplay in the queen side and white has counterplay on the king side um, so benny plays h4 and a5 played by black and knight d5 here's a one of the crucial mistakes in the game was knight d5 um, better move would have been uh, um, a4 however after knight d5 now the bishop is uh, kind of trapped but like okay he can escape this way um, rook b8 is a move you can play rook b8 you can play e5 there are many ways to continue this position uh, rook b8 is a safer move Though e5 has been played quite a few times with uh, good success for for, um, for a black. Okay, so af um, after a4 and take uh, after um, knight d5, black decides to actually take instead of playing a4. This is a mistake. And now bishop takes g7. Okay, now simplifying the position. We have an equal position here. Now rook c8. Okay, yeah. Uh, I would still prefer black because of... His king is quite safe. Though, okay, h h5 is scary and all that. But this bishop's misplaced. Black has some clear ideas on how to... I'm sorry. Uh, on how to attack white's weak position. So h5 and rook h8, big mis uh, uh, mistake, e6 would have been better and we would have uh, per actually a perpetual and this is a force draw, uh, which black can't avoid, which would have been a, a better decision, but definitely black does not want to draw this game, so he plays on for victory. And after queenside casting, queen b6, here is our first blunder kind of of the game, g4. Okay, a3 is a 
spots is a better move. Um, thing is, you're trying to stop the play on the king side, and then you're trying to get the queen side attack. So here, after queen c5 takes takes, and then you exchange and just grab the a5 pawn and try to live with that. But position's not easy. This is anyone's game still. Uh, with black having a very active queen and a rook on the open file, this is enough compensation. But yeah, over here, objectively, uh, white is slightly, ever so slightly better. Mm, so let's go back to the game. So instead of a3, g4 was played, which is the first mistake, because now the bishop's just trapped and there is no hope. Because if the bishop goes back to d3, we just pay 4 and the bishop's still trapped. Um, here he he plays h6, uh, but okay, this is just a check, temporary check. Now the bishop can't go anywhere. He's gonna lose the bishop next move. So okay, here he tries to be creative and he sacrifices the bishop this way. Now he's saying, indicating that if you take, I'll take the d6 pawn. Uh, regardless, black just black just takes and then white takes. On d6, this is still fine because you have king e8 defending the bishop on d7. And now here already black is winning. And then rook g8 was played. Um, here I think Lucianov became overconfident that of his winning position. He was completely, uh, he's a piece up and yeah he has counterplay his king is kind of safe here for the time being and yeah it's fine and he has come que some queenside play his k and has an open c file it's looking good for him very very good for him uh the uh benny just plays uh rook d2 trying to just support the c2 pawn if ever it gets attacked further attacked um and now here comes the biggest blunder of the game so the an accurate move would have been g5 preventing it, the upcoming move which i'm going to show you and uh, yeah the uh, thing is if after g5 that move won't make sense because of uh a king move so like the move the big blunder is Rook G7. Yeah, this is big brother. So I'll give you like um, around five seconds to find this incredible move that uh, usually like this kid found it in within like uh, 30 seconds. So quite a bright kid. A very difficult move to find in a actual game. So five seconds to solve it. So the move is queen g7. So very, very powerful move. And thing is, you can't touch this queen. And I'm threatening to take your h7 pawn if you move your rook to f8. But basically, I'm attacking both your rook and your pawn. So the uh, Gusianov just plays rook f8. He already knew that he had. He's losing right now. He was actually quite surprised after queen g7. Um, if he takes, yeah, this is just, you can't stop queening. This is unstoppable, and you just exchange, not only exchange up, but then after that, this pawn falls, this pawn falls, everything just starts falling and collapsing. Because my queen is very active, your king is very unsafe. So it's not just like an exchange, this is just completely winning. And will black will have no play now rook f8 okay this is just desperation he's grabbing the spawn i'm gonna go back and try to queen this spawn that will be winning so gustianov plays king e7 trying to make room for some defense over here okay so the kid just plays queen g7 okay um idea is again just to push and Put more pressure on this king probably get some g5 queen f6 checks because this rook cuts this this path so queen e uh, queen c8 was played uh providing more support for the back rank 
at the same time still maintaining pressure on the c file so quite a sensible move but after g5 it's just very very difficult for black to play any reasonable move and Gusianov just plays rook, rook uh, h8 e5 would have been the best but still this is so uh, very difficult to play this position the king is just stuck there and this is just really just lost and there's no hope um however after uh after he plays rook h8 and after queen f6 Gusiano resigns here because this king has to go back and now he's just gonna lose the rook and we can probably just repeat this and bring him back now we are threatening to queen and i don't think it's well easy to stop we can probably prolong it by oh i'm sorry uh, you can prolong it by some computer lines like rook takes and takes yeah okay yeah uh, but this next move there is nothing oh okay maybe you can come here and one more one more breath but that's it this is the last draw so this is that was it and uh, obviously you can move it here though because um we have a way uh, this is covered by the rock so if you move the bishop here now uh, it's this is checkmate even interesting could be uh, it's everything's lost it's just there's no point yeah this this can be dealt in with um similar fashion i think just she check here and should be should be crushing yeah this rook, rook takes and then you take the queen over here yeah so the kid played a very fantastic game incredible uh move queen g7 and very difficult to find in a rap in a rapid game so well done and yeah the game was spectacular the way he came back and uh, kept fighting though he was pieced down against the super gm most people would resign um but this kid kept fighting and even gm super gms make mistakes so yeah um so i hope you guys enjoy please uh, like share and subscribe hope to see you guys next time